Hey, welcome back to the channel, my fellow weather junkies. I'm your host, Greg Majeski, your personal weatherman here, bringing you the weather without all that social media hype. Here on your Thursday, January 2nd, Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're tracking here for today as we're looking at the first major snowstorm of 2025 coming in. This will also include a round of maybe some severe weather with this storm as well as uh, some freezing rain, which is always a nasty thing. We're going to be talking about the Arctic chill settling in across the nation. Definitely going to be shitting up shop for a few days, that's for sure. We'll see how long that'll be sticking around. And then there's still some question marks on the next storm for next week. The American GFS model yesterday was kicking out some crazy data. We'll go ahead and take a look at the latest European model to see what it's showing for the potential snow storm or uh, cold weather going in toward the end of next week. Now, before we get into all that, first, I do want to thank all the new subscribers here to the channel. Thank you very much for joining our family. And if you haven't yet decided to subscribe yet, please consider it. Hit that subscribe button. And again, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate your support here on the channel. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our morning satellite imagery here. Pretty quiet up and down the eastern seaboard here for the most part. Uh, maybe just little areas of snow across the areas of New England there. And we've got some snows in the Intermountain region. Still continuing with the flow of moisture here. A little bit of rains up here along the areas of Seattle, uh, just south of there going into Oregon. And we got some more moisture obviously heading into areas of Northern California over the next couple of days as well. Now looking at our current watches and warnings, still a bit breezy across areas of New England and some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings up there. Starting to see some uh, indications of the winter weather that's coming here soon to come across the middle of the country as well as the inner mountain region here. So, but not too bad here from coast to coast. Looking at our morning uh, imagery right here on the radar right now, we are seeing some of that Arctic air up here across the northern plains, minus 11, minus 6, minus uh, 6 there. So we starting to see some of that really hard frigid stuff coming in here. There you see some of the Great Lakes uh, kicking off some of the Great Lake snows there across areas of New York and into Pennsylvania. And we still got some pretty good steady rains up here across portions of Oregon and going up into New York State. In fact, we'll show you some of the rains here coming up near Ocean City, uh, near Aberdeen, heading on down toward Astoria. And the rains will be generally increasing here across portions of Washington State and Oregon as we go throughout today and heading into tomorrow. Now let's go and talk about the latest from the Storms Prediction Center as we're kind of getting out ahead of this next storm system that's going to be coming our way here as we'll start seeing the first signs of this thing start to come together. This will be our major storm system here as we head into this upcoming weekend. We do see a pocket of thunderstorms that will develop here as we go in towards your Saturday. So this is your day three outlook. And what's interesting about this is you don't see this very often where the Storms Prediction Center will give you something out beyond the three day, but they do they do did for this one as we're looking at a severe weather risk here uh, going in toward day four. So you see that little pocket there across areas of Mississippi, back toward East Texas and Louisiana, uh, the potential for some severe weather. I don't think it's going to be too big a deal. Right now, I'm thinking marginal to slight risk on that particular uh, uh, system as it pulls out. We got a little warm air out ahead of that cold air clashing into that zone. So we'll have to watch that closely. This will be going into your Sunday where we'll be seeing some potential active weather there with that storm system. And then obviously we're continuing that rain threat out on the west coast here for the next couple of days. We just got a couple of days to watch this. Uh, this is for your day one outlook for today. That's for Southern Oregon and California. And that'll continue into day uh, three as well, or day two, I should say, as well, as you can see right there, uh, going from Friday into Saturday with that heavy rain threat. And then that kind of takes a break as we go into day three. So a couple of days to some heavy rains out on the West Coast. The big thing really that's coming up is going to be going up for this upcoming storm system. It's definitely a complex one. And when I say complex, we're dealing with a winter element as well as a severe element with this. And that's what's kind of being highlighted here uh, with this middle portion right here. So you got to severe thunderstorms with this. You got some rain with this. You got some freezing rain and you got some sleet with this. So you got a lot, all the different components here with that storm coming in. Obviously, we got the Arctic chill coming in here in the next few days. We got cold getting down into Florida. Uh, it's going to be really, really crazy next 10 days, uh, that's for sure. But let's go ahead and first take a look at the latest on the high resolution models. So we're looking at the next 40 hours here. We're going to be watching a, a couple of systems here. We're going to be watching uh, this little disturbance here across uh, portions of Iowa that'll be going this way. And of course, we've got a lot of activity coming out here on the West Coast. We've got this stuff exiting here. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Watch that timestamp there in your upper right hand corner as I kind of take you through this. Uh, again, as we we'll watch that, a little bit of snow there coming across areas of the Midwest there. Uh, you can definitely see that, but uh, definitely getting very rainy and stormy out here on the West Coast. Look at Oregon and Northern California lighting up there. 
Of course, we still got the Great Lakes lighting up with some of that cold air that's continuing to entrench across the region there. That's going to continue to bring in the winter weather there. And it looks like we'll get a little bit of snow across uh, areas of uh, uh, West Virginia and going down into the Smokies here, uh, going into your Friday morning. That's that reinforcing shot of some cold air that's kind of coming in here uh, across the east. And, of course, we'll see the precipitation increasing across the areas of Washington State into Idaho and Montana uh, going into your Friday as well as that storm system begins to move inland. And it's that energy that's going to be setting off that uh, developing storm system in the middle of the country as we go into this upcoming weekend. So as we go into Saturday night into Sunday, obviously we still got the Great Lakes lighting up there. Some pretty good snows across portions of Nevada and Idaho. And it's that system there that's going to be pulling out into the plains coming into Sunday and uh, developing an area of low pressure out here. When it does, uh, that's going to be setting up that active weather that we're expecting going from Sunday and into your Monday. So let's go ahead and track that. We're first going to be taking a look at the jet stream. That jet stream is that river of air that kind of drives the weather systems across the country here. As we're going to be watching uh, this energy off here, it's actually off the coast. It's going to be diving on in here, and that's what's going to be setting up this active weather for this upcoming uh, Sunday. So let's go ahead and take a look at this as they're going to watch that system to kind of drive right on in here as we go towards Sunday. So as we get to Sunday afternoon, again, you got a pretty good dip in the jet stream here. You've got the cold air that's going to be coming in behind this here. Again, we'll be watching that area there across the south central portion and the southeast portion of the United States from east Texas to Mississippi for the severe weather. There's pretty good wind shear in there as well. There could be a tornadic element with this, although I don't expect it to be nearly as bad as what we saw uh, say a week ago or so, but nothing like that. But the, right now, uh, this will be moving on pretty good, uh, pretty good and pretty fast. So as we go into Monday, the cold air will be settling on in here. Then the jet stream takes an interesting turn here. Okay, what we're seeing is we're seeing this energy kind of backing off into California. This is going to pinch off an, uh, a, an upper level low and swing off this way. Uh, what the models were trying to show yesterday was this, the energy of this thing kind of splitting off with some models going this way. The American GFS was kind of splitting it in half, but I, I'm, I favor the European. It's the, definitely the most consistent with this. So this cold is going to pinch right off. You see it kind of pinching off there. There's our cutoff low here. And so we're not going to see the the uh, the energy kind of get absorbed coming into Texas to cause any winter weather across the severe deep south. One thing is for sure. We're going to be seeing a lot of cold air coming in here across the eastern two-thirds of the United States with below normal temperatures with this as this comes on. And it's a very deep trough. Look how far this thing goes down into Florida. Probably going to have some severe uh, freezing, probably going all the way down to the Miami area. Would not shock me going into the following weekend here, going toward the 10th and the 11th with that kind of configuration with the jet stream. And it is beyond the, beyond the 10 day, this is 10 days out right now. Uh, looks like we just kind of keep that cold pattern in. Now, now it does appear that this upper low gets absorbed back of the jet stream, comes right back in here. So we'll have to watch here as we head toward the following week. Again, this is still 300 hours out, and uh, that could bring in some uh, winter precipitation there across the middle of the country yet again. But we're still staying with this very, very cold pattern here uh, going right in through the middle of the month. So it looks like no major changes right now expected uh, with the overall weather pattern taking us through about the 15th uh, the way the current European model is looking. So let's go ahead and look at this. We're going to break this down by looking at the precipitation here as we take a look at this here. Uh, again, we're going to watch a little bit of snows here across portions of Obviously, the, the Appalachians with that reinforcing shot, it's very stormy out here on the West Coast. If you just showed you there with a the high resolution model. But we're going to watch what happens with this, this, as the storm system pulls out of the Rockies. Here comes that low pressure. There it is starting to form right there uh, coming in through Oklahoma there. So we got the Oklahoma uh, low kind of forming. We're going to have snow into Colorado. There's that, or, that pink area. That's that freezing ray. That's because it, the, the cold air is kind of shallow and it's warmer above that. So it falls as... Falls as snow, comes back in the rain, and then freezes at the surface. So uh, that freezing rain is going to be nasty, especially across portions of Missouri. I'll show you those, those potential totals there. So we're going to have to deal with, as we go through the day Sunday, we got snow in the northern half, we got ice in the middle of this, and then we got that severe weather component down here on the southern portion of this on Sunday. So pretty active weather day there on Sunday. As this continues to move from west to east, as we go into your Monday morning, this will be moving into the mid-Atlantic area here across Pennsylvania, Maryland, getting in on the snow, and some ice back over Virginia, although I don't think it'll be quite as bad as what we're going to see across Missouri uh, going in towards Sunday. This exits and moves off the eastern seaboard here, and that, that again, we'll see things how begin to improve on that on that front there. And then as we go further on out in time, well, again, that low pinches off, so that low goes off, off here. We're not looking at this 
getting caught up into Texas, as some of the models were indicating here uh, yesterday to bring in a winter storm. But what we are going to see is a, a nice reinforcing shot of cold air coming down here into the south. So looks like the polar vortex, at least part of it here, right down here, we'll get some snow across areas of the Tennessee Valley, North Alabama, North Georgia, snow showers, snow flurries, maybe a light dusting, but not a major event at that. But the one thing I do see, check, the, check out the freezing line. This is the freezing line right here across South Georgia. Look where this thing ends up here as I go take you forward here. Uh, goes all the way down into South Florida. You don't see that very often. Look at this, boom, all the way down there, Tampa. Uh, again, it could be freezing temperatures going all the way down into Miami. So some very, very cold and frigid air going into the 10th and 11th, again, about 10 days out. Now, beyond the 10 day, obviously, we're talking about an extrapolation, just kind of an estimate of what we think is going to happen. We think what's showing right now is that low off, that cutoff low we just showed is going to get absorbed back into the jet flow there again. And then it's lighting up a potential winter event again here across Texas, Arkansas, and into portions of Kentucky going out toward Tuesday the 14th. That's assuming that low gets absorbed at all. But if it does, that's what it's looking like right now. And this will push off toward the east as another cold shot comes down here across the eastern third of the United States. As we continue that cold pattern, it looks like another surge of cold air getting ready to come down here. So uh, the cold pattern continues right into January. But it doesn't look like there's going to be, uh, other than the major snowstorm we're dealing with up for this upcoming weekend, it doesn't appear to be all that active as far as precipitation is concerned. Let's go ahead and take a look right now at what we're going to see with the, the precipitation here. We'll look at the next three days here as we go out to 72 hours here for the next three days. It does appear that the West Coast is going to definitely stay very active with that. You see the heavy rains out there on the West Coast. Uh, we will be dealing with obviously lake effect snows up this way. And then we'll turn our attention to this blast here in the middle here beyond the three day uh, as uh, again that path of rain, freezing rain and snow is going to be moving on then. So let's go on out to the 10 day mark here as you see that track right across from Kansas all the way over to Virginia as we go through uh, the next uh, uh, over this weekend going into Sunday and Monday there. And I'm going to stop this at 240. That's your 10-day total here. Uh, obviously, we're getting some rains out here from this cutoff low across uh, out here in Baja, California, uh, looking at the rains out on the West Coast. And again, this is the path right through here. We're going to take and break down here and watch and see where that freezing rain, rain and snow is going to line up. So I've got this kind of broken down into categories for you here. So let's take a look at this right now as we're going to be looking at right now the uh, the freezing rain total. This is probably very critical. Obviously, freezing rain is the absolute worst. So this is starting uh, on Saturday across Kansas initially. So we're looking at uh, the Kansas and then going into Sunday. Uh, that's when it gets really pretty bad there across portions of Missouri. So Sunday showing one inch accumulation there across central portions of Missouri. And that could be ca quite catastrophic. A lot of power outages potentially with that uh, as that will continue to move off toward the east going into from Sunday and into Monday off toward the east. So we can go ahead and take a look at the east as well. And you see this kind of tracks into areas of Virginia and West Virginia, although the amounts are not nearly as bad. Uh, looks like a little half inch there near Louisville, Kentucky, uh, going in uh, going into Monday as well. So Missouri appears to be the worst when it comes to the freezing rain element of this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the snow part of this. So let's look, go ahead and track this as well as we look at the uh, as we look at how this thing's going to evolve here. The northern portion of this will be in the form of snow. So here it comes, boom! All right there through Kansas into Missouri and uh, going right across in across the Midwest. Looks like some of these areas here north of where that freezing rain may see upwards of 10 inches of snow as this will continue to move off through portions of Illinois, Indiana, and into southern Ohio as we go in towards your Monday. So Sunday into Monday, uh, that's when we'll see that go there. We'll take a look at the east as well. Some pretty healthy uh, snow totals here, upwards of about 14 inches. Of course, you get a little bit of that orographic lift, lifting mechanism there across portions of West Virginia, obviously with the Appalachian Mountains. And looks like that'll go, could go right through the nation's capital with some snow there as well as we go into your Monday into January the 6th. Now, what about uh, the, the looking at the temperature anomaly map here? This is going to be, uh, look, it continues to stay quite cold. So, got got the cool air, a shot coming down here going into Friday and Saturday as we continue to see that flow with the cold air coming down here across the high plains and coming into the, into the southeast. And that trend will continue into next week as we watch this developing storm system. See right there, you, you clearly see a nice warm up here. So we got the warm air and the cold air coming down in here. That's what's going to set up those thunderstorms as we go into your Sunday with that severe weather element there. 
and it should weaken as it moves off toward the east there. I think uh, South Alabama, Florida, Panhandle, South Georgia may see thunderstorms with that as well. That cold air moves right on into the southeast going into next week and goes right in through Florida. So look at these temperatures here in Florida, upwards of 15 to 20 degrees below normal there across Florida as well. And uh, some areas here across Missouri and, and into portions of Illinois looking at close to 30 degrees below normal with the temperatures. And then we got that just cold air. It's just going to sit there across the east. We got a slight modification here a little bit. You see a little, little brief warm up there across the high plains just a little bit but that's just because we got another shot coming in behind that one as we go toward the 13th as we, we continue this this cold pattern there it goes dropping on down here again uh heading out toward the 15th so the parade of cold air will continue as we go toward the middle of the month and it uh, looks like that's just going to continue and especially the southeast will continue to see temperatures running well uh, below normal so let's go ahead and break this down look at the latest from the climate prediction center looks like i don't see any major changes taking place for this right now so six to ten now look milder in the west colder here in the east uh, as we go out through the 11th there and going out to the 15th continuing with the cold pattern across basically the eastern half of the united states milder out in the west and i don't see any significant changes in the update that will probably come later today now as far as the precipitation part of this this is unusual to see we got we got that cold arctic air mass kind of dry air mass that's gonna be settling up in through the here uh the 7th to the 11th so we're just not going to tap any real moisture in here uh staying dry out in the west so we'll get a chance to dry out especially these areas that have been pounded here for the last month or so out on the west coast as we'll be dealing with the ridging out here and we'll see the colder pattern coming here and still we're not tapping any gulf of mexico storms the jet stream configuration is not one to where we're getting anything develop here it's too far to the east and so everything that's developing is out in the atlantic we're not getting anything here to kind of develop the storm system so it looks like we're in store for a pretty uh, active short term here is it looks like we're going to be dealing with that uh, weather for this upcoming weekend uh, which is going to be in the form of obviously the thunderstorms the freezing rain uh, uh, anybody there watching in the areas of missouri especially need to be, pay attention to the local emergency managers and their weather service offices uh, for updates on that that's one of those things that's kind of a now cast type thing and of course the track of that low we'll have to make sure it doesn't change all that much any deviation north or south will dictate who gets the freezing rain and who gets the snow or gets plain old rain. So that, that's going to be important to track as we go through this upcoming weekend. So if you'd like to keep up on the latest on this, I kind of give, you to you, give it to you steady. I don't go over the type. I don't hype the crap out of stuff like this. I just want to give it to you and let you decide what you need to do to prepare best for you and your family. Uh, here on this channel and we're growing nice it was good to see a nice little surge in new uh, people subscribing to the channel yesterday and hopefully we can keep that going here in 2025 that's your update for now you guys take it easy be good stay safe and we'll see you in the next update till then bye guys